Hey guys, and welcome back after a very long hiatus to Upfront Gaming. Um, sorry for the delay. I've been doing a lot. Holy crap. Um, I was moving. That was the most recent thing I was dealing with. Um, but other than that, um, I've been uh, obviously dealing with a lot of things with the military. And then on top of that, um, I've also done a movie um the premiere for that movie and a bunch of other things in the process so i know that's not what you want to hear but we're going to prevent too much um uh change in schedule from here going forward now that we're finally settled and everything is starting to fall into place um there's quite a few things to go over this week and again we'll get into more next week but for now, let's jump into the very first thing with PlayStation. Um, there's a bunch of things going on with PlayStation right now, for those of you that don't know. And one of which um, I kind of heard yesterday from a uh, reliable source. Um, still take it as a rumor at this point. But uh, Sony reveal um, details are going to start happening to the media on or about the time of The Last of Us 2's release, February 2020. Now, that being said, um, there's going to be a couple more events after that, uh, one of which will be public. Uh, and then the third event, they're thinking, will probably be closer to the release of the PS5. Uh, so that being said, there you have it. Um, let's jump into our uh, first video for the week um, in PlayStation's most anticipated. I'm actually not even going to label that anymore. It's kind of, you know, what's coming out this week that we choose to highlight. Um, so these are all kind of cross platforms this week, but uh, let's just jump into it. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Um, let's just get into the video. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Neighborville, where from town center, to the weirding woods, to the trails of Mount Steep, a battle is always raging. New plants, new zombies, and new turf. This is your first look at Plants vs. Zombies, Battle for Neighborville. You'll begin your battle in the world's social regions. These hubs are the gateway into Neighborville, and a great place to connect with friends, find new allies, and try on a new look. Let's meet the new recruits. New team play classes let you join up with your friends and fight together as one unstoppable unit. Meet Oak and Acorn. Or bring your cadets together and form a space station. Now you can play on your friends and with your friends in split-screen co-op in every mode. Team play classes are powerful, but if you go down, you all go down. As a team! Let's meet our new damage dealers. The 80s action hero. He'll vanquish you with his bow, then zing you with an unintelligible one-liner. So gnarly. Snapdragon launches fireballs that will seek out zombie kindling. Burn. Electric Slide will dance her way into your hearts. Her electrified attacks can clear any dance floor. Don't blink or you'll miss Nightcap. Master of Shadows, she gets in close for her devastating Fung Fu takedown. Head-to-head -head combat is at the heart of Battle for Neighborville. Spread across 12 unique maps, there is something for everyone. Go intense in the Thunderdome, home of the all-new Battle Arena, where two teams enter and one team leaves. Go big in up to 24 player matches. With countless objectives, whatever you do, Please stop Dr. Zomboss from launching a lighthouse into orbit? Reload and jump into the fray at Giddy Park, a drop-in, never-ending carnival of headshots. The battle for Neighborville doesn't stop there. Hop on a train, submarine, or flying bus, and explore strange and dangerous free roam regions. Quest, collect, and discover as you battle an entire forest. 
join a pie-eating contest, make friends with an insecure washing machine, crash a dance party, fight inside your own zombie mind, survive gnomish temples, lead a zombie parade, give a lawnmower a style makeover, and politely decline the hacky sack with this guy. You know, just your average day. The battle for Neighborville is just getting started. With countless ways to join the fight, one thing is clear. This war is just about as weird as you. I mean that the best possible way. All right, guys, so that was Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. That comes up 1018. So um, if you enjoyed the first couple of games like I did, uh, then go ahead and check that one out. So um, let's jump into further PlayStation news. Um, Borderlands 3 was voted September's best new game over Monster Hunter World, Iceborne, Greedfall, and Code Vein. Um, there's really no surprise there. Uh, Borderlands has always been a great game. Uh, I myself uh, have beat the first one in the last couple months. I spent time going back through the prequel and now back through 2, which I'm almost finished with, in order to play 3, which I purchased and haven't touched yet. So um, that kind of sucks, but I'll get there soon. Um, that being said, uh, the last piece for uh, PlayStation I don't think is too surprising either, but uh, The Last of Us Part 2, Neil Druckmann, uh, he states it's been in the works since 2013 and that Ellie has come into her own as a character. Um, there is a new Shambler infected and he explained in an interview how um, it fits into the evaluation of the infection and much more. Uh, with it launching in February 2020, the only question is, do you play it on PS4 or see if it actually makes the leap to 5? There was a portion of the interview uh, where the PS5 was stated um, uh, referring to the power of it. So I'm assuming um, that The Last of Us Part Two will make a debut on PS5 as well. For me, I may wait. It depends. Um, I've got a list of games that I still want to get before I give up on my PS4, but I will definitely be buying a PS5 in the pro variation as soon as it comes out because I did the same with PS4 and to be honest with you that PlayStation 4 is still in my living room and works great so no complaints um, so anyway say in the comments below uh, whether or not it's something that you're interested in uh, on any of those PlayStation topics and whether or not you're going to look for The Last of Us on the PS4 or the PS5 I'd be interested to know. Anyway, uh, moving on. Xbox news for the week. Um, their choice game that we have for this week is the Jackbox Party Pack 6. Um, so enjoy the video. Relax. Take a deep breath. Visualize all five new party games in the Jackbox Party Pack 6. The popular Trivia Deathmatch returns with Trivia Murder Party 2. Fight for your life in bizarre new mini-games. Still not relaxed? How about the offbeat personality test role models? Find out who you really are. The comedy contest Joke Boat. Perform stand-up comedy on a cruise ship. The inventive word game Dictionarium. Build your own nonsensical dictionary. And the hidden identity game Push the Button. Unmask the aliens before time runs out. Play with up to 10 people using your phones as controllers. Plus, an audience of 10,000 can play along. It's the Jackbox Party Pack 6. Find your inner party. Okay, guys, so that was the Jackbox Party Pack 6. That comes out on 1017. So if you're into those kinds of games, by all means, check that out. It looks really good for what it is. Um, I remember playing the Jack series on PC probably 10 years ago at least. Um, and it's come a long way since then, so uh, it's definitely one of those good party games uh, if you and uh, a group of friends actually get in front of your system and play. Um, 
Anyway, you'll notice my logos have swapped uh, to an extent. Uh, it's hard to make the Xbox logo stick in that position with uh, the posters behind me now. And also, um, the bigger poster is going to have to move if I want to keep it on the other side. However, I think swapping them, eh, not a bad thing. Alright, anyway, on to further Xbox news. Um, Warpath update. Mars, uh, or sorry, Warface, jeez, I can't read my own writing. Uh, Warface update, Mars takes the action from Earth to the planet Mars and introduces a PvP map and new Battle Pass Season 3. This update's now available on Xbox One as we speak. So if you play Warface, um, go ahead and check that out as it migrates the fight from Earth to Mars. Um, free play days, um, Chaos Bane, um, Gold and Ultimate Pass members could play Chaos Bane um, through tonight for absolutely free and purchase the game at a 30% discount as well, and that's all three variations. So if you're interested um, in Chaos Bane, then go ahead and check that out. You have until tonight um, to check it out for free, and I believe the 30% off as well is going to expire as of this evening. Uh, so that is it for Xbox. Uh, moving on to Nintendo. Nintendo, um, their game for the week, not really a, a, really a, a single platform game. Um, actually, it's been out on the other two previously. Uh, and I chose to highlight this game because of the fact that I thought it was a great game and I played it on PS4. Um, obviously we know that some of the Switch stuff takes a while um, to transition. So um, hey, it is what it is. So check out the trailer for the Switch's version of The Witcher 3. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Witcher. I was hoping you'd come. Hey guys. So that was The Witcher 3. I really liked that game. That's a great experience. Um, if you're into RPGs and uh, those types of battle games, go ahead and pick that up on Switch. Uh, if you have it and happen to have not played it already. Um, so anyway, check this out. This is the first week, I think, since I've been doing this, that Nintendo's had the longest bit of news. So. Um, although it's a couple little things, it's it's pretty um, pretty interesting to say the least. So Luigi's Mansion Three, uh, first four figures has revealed a PVC statue for Luigi's Mansion Three to accompany the game, and pre-orders are available up until the 15th of November. There's an exclusive edition that's $114.99, a collector's edition that's $99.99, and a standard edition which is $74.99. Each comes with a statue itself, but the higher two come with additional pieces. So the collector's edition comes with a glowing dog that's on the statue, and then the exclusive comes with a glowing dog and footprints and a box and all that crazy jazz. But um, anyway, there it's not including the game. This is only the collector's statue itself. Um, so if you're interested in that sort of thing or want to get one, um, by all means, check those out. You can pre-order at f4f.com and they're saying the collector's edition and the standard editions will also be available at retailers. So again, Luigi's Mansion 3, if that's your thing, by all means, check out the statue. It does look pretty cool. It's really detailed. Um, it was kind of amazing. There's a video on it. Um, I could do another video and just cover that. Uh, but yeah, 
Probably not. Uh, anyway, moving on. Ring Fit Adventure is an active role-playing game um, that includes a, or needs to be played with, I should say. I'm not sure if it, it will include, but uh, a ring con and leg strap accessories um, that are needed to play the game. Uh, after being tried by Alex Olney uh, from Nintendo Life, um, it has an adventure mode and exercises you throughout the game by running and squeezing the ring con. It's kind of like this accessory where you mount the top of the controller and you just kind of squeeze at different points to fire like projectiles at people and things and enemies or whatever throughout the game. It's kind of cool, I guess, for a fit game. Um, but that being said, um, it seems responsive and like it could be a challenge if you're looking for a fitness game. So, uh, again, you know, Nintendo tackling the fitness market, you know, we'll see if it's worth anything, if that's your thing. Um, but again, it did look pretty cool. It wasn't, it wasn't just you know, absolutely nothing going on or something that was, hey, pick an exercise and go, uh, kind of like uh, Nintendo's or EA's uh, fit experience uh, a couple of years ago, I believe it was. Um, but anyway, it does look better if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, the video uh, was pretty interesting with Alex only. You can look that up on nintendolife.com. Um, but anyway... That's it guys, so here we are at the end of our first coming back um, process. I'd say we've got a little bit more, you know, getting used to some flair that I've got to put up still here behind me and all that good stuff. Um, I got some display things coming in and whatnot that I'll put up behind me to make this a little more interesting. Um, however, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the news uh, affects you or uh, maybe something that you might be a little more interested in now. Um, if you have any questions, comments, by all means, leave them below. Share, subscribe, like. It really helps out. I like it. Obviously, I can do more with the channel if I got more people listening and watching. Um, I want to get to a point where I can be doing giveaways and stuff like that. Um, However, for now, we'll just continue to give you uh, the news for all three platforms. Uh, look out for that to change, however, um, because Stadia comes out next month. And obviously, we are on the verge of the next generation of consoles. And that's going to be pretty huge and probably take up some news here in the coming future. So uh, by all means, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. And if there's any questions, comments, again, leave it below and subscribe, like, and shoot me, hit me up if you'd like. Um, I always actually respond to those things. So anyway, have a good one, guys. Thanks for listening and stay tuned till next week here at Upfront Games. Peace.